here we are, folks. Uh, welcome to my podcast. I have some viewers out here. Oh, wait, I have a fan. No, you can come say bye. Yes. Are you on air? I'm, I'm on air. I'm live on air. Have you watched the podcast? No, but I'm going to now. <laughs> All right. Like, comment, share, subscribe, right? Yeah, like, push the like button, and subscribe. I usually wear glasses when I'm on the podcast. I know, I see that. <laughs> okay, welcome everybody. We're here. I just caught up. We're at this fancy party, 80s party right here. And I finally caught up to Andy, the guy, the man, the myth, the legend who has avoided me for some time now, but I caught him here. Andy, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How you, you doing? doing? I'm doing good. Thank you, Andy. Great. Awesome. So, did you enjoy the party? Yes, had lots of fun. You're actually here. You're like the last one to clean this place up. <laughs> <laughs> I do my part. <laughs> so, Andy, you've been avoiding me for a very long time, but I finally caught up to you. How do you feel uh, talking to all these thousands of viewers that I have on my podcast? A little nervous. Nervous. A little nervous, but you know, first time doing something like this. But it's 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 going. It's okay. It's good. Well, good, good. You're like a quiet assassin. You're like <laughs> six and zero. Oh. You know, but nobody can even come close to I you. Work in silence. Just, you <laughs> work know? in silence. Just do my thing. And uh, yeah. So you're a six and zero oh right now, top of the leaderboard. How do you feel? <clears throat> um, six and zero oh, can't can't complain about that, right? But you can never you can never be complacent. You never know. You gotta always be on your toes. As you guys know, matchups, injuries, all kinds of things could happen. You got to look out for the next breakout star, out in the waiver, making trades. Always got to be on your toes. You can never settle. You know, I could be 6-0, and could lose the next five, and out of the playoffs. And it's just how fantasy is sometimes, you know? So so what's the secret? Because, like, no one's even come close to touching you, and you're 6-0. and Is there a secret? Mm, no secret, just, you know, many years of playing. Um, like I said, just got to be on your toes, not relying on just your, your draft, whatever team you draft. You got to stay evolving. Like I said, injuries happen. Um, you got to look at matchups. Um, there's a lot that goes into it, preparing uh, who's home, who's away, who's playing, the, imply, the, the team imply total, the over and under. There's a lot to look at. Damn, I don't even look at any of that stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's say, so that's a lot, a lot of analysis that goes into it. How many leagues are you in right now? It sounds like you're like a, a, a veteran of this. How Are you playing in multiple leagues? Yes, I, I, I do play multiple leagues. I, I did tone it down this year. I only have two leagues. Two leagues. Two leagues, two little ones to handle. They're starting to play sports. Yeah, it's just, it, it could get overwhelming. But two years, only two leagues this year. Okay, all right. Well, hey, so um, is there somebody in the league that's doing really good that you're kind of surprised and uh, you're shocked about how well they're doing? Um, yeah, I would say um, SOG maybe. Oh, SOG. SOG. Um, he very has very limited experience. <laughs> You know, playing at this level, but I'm very surprised at where he's sitting at the standings right now. But like I said, hey, you never know. You just never know. You got to always be prepared for everything. I'm surprised too, by the way. <laughs> um, what about what about George? He likes to talk a lot. What do you think about him and his team? Is He's not doing so good right now. It looks like he might lose to his brother, but we don't know yet. What do you think about George? George, who's, who's George? What team, what team is that again? <laughs> So El Guapo, yeah. Do you, do you know what El Guapo means? <laughs> According to to Bill, it means El Feo. <laughs> El Feo. Uh, I, th I think it's ugly, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. El Feo. <laughs> El Feo. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah. According to George, he says he's the most handsome, especially amongst the family. There's Jerry and then there's George. Do you feel one or the other is more handsome? Which one, which one is more handsome? Is it George or Jerry? Hey, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll let them fight for that title. <laughs> if there was one that you can date, like between George and Jerry, which one would you date? Nobody, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> wow, wow, I mean, 
I mean, you got the young bug, the the, the other uh, guapo, the more experienced. I, I don't know. It's a toss up. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, you know he ate that that donut that he says I ate. Oh, the, it was him. The bacon donut. The bacon donut. Yeah. That he sent he sent that on the group family text, and then he's denying that he sent that. Oh it my looked god, pretty good. It did. I wanted. I was asking for it. Okay, so okay, so Jerry, have you played Jerry yet? Uh, Jerry, that's what's that team name? That team name is Jake from State Farm. Oh, Jake. No, I don't think I played him. You haven't played him. Have I've you played, played him. the commissioner? Uh, prime time. Oh yeah, you played prime, prime time. time. Yes, yes. But on on the real, I I should have lost that game. I should have lost that game, especially with my quarterback going down very early, only giving me five points. But at the end of the day, I think I beat him by eleven, ten, eleven points. So it it is what it is. I I, I took the win. You can't be sorry for any any wins in this league. None of them are going to be easy. It's a dog fight until the end. And and I came on top six and zero baby. That's right six and zero. So listen, I have two final questions. These are like the most asked questions on my uh, on my podcast. Every every comment that I get, I always get this question. When you set your lineup, like right before the <laughs> game, it's empty. Like there's <laughs> nobody on there. Like how the hell do you play with no no player? Like you, what do you do? Like right, a minute before the game, or what? What is that? Go, what's you what's just, going on with that? I mean, like I said, it's all the research that goes into it. So you're um, doing research right up until the game, yeah, and up until everything, you know. Um, especially now and during the fall time, you know, weather could change, rainy, windy. Bye. Those those are my fans over there. Bye. Ah, <laughs> 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 sí, los dos entrevistando. El micrófono, sí. <laughs> <laughs> Me estás interrumpiendo aquí. <laughs> Con todos mis fans. The fans are getting a little rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> I wear glasses on my podcast. That's why these are on all the time. You haven't seen it? No. Check it out. Right, a fan. <laughs> no, I'm getting fans. I'm getting some fans. So we were talking. You were right up to the last minute. You're actually doing research. Yes, we're, this, yes, we never stops looking. Team's report, injury report, you got to stay on top of it. Listen, sometimes I think you do so much research, you know the guy's underwear size, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's just me. But, okay, so the other, the other question I wanted to ask you is um, ev- there's some controversy between you and Bill, the first trade that went on. A lot of people say that you've taken advantage of Bill, and Bill was, like, just confused. Is that true? Now, Bill answered that question. He said it was a fair trade. No. What do you think? I think I think like like he mentioned, just because of that player name carries a lot of weight. Uh, people expect to get a lot in return for a big name like that. But like like he meant, you know, Bill perfectly mentioned it. Um, uh, Derrick Henry is not who he used to be. Any, anybody that knows football could see that. Yes, he gave me what one good week within the past three weeks, but it was it was a fair trade. Um. So one last question. I really want to thank you for coming on to my podcast. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting to hear this, waiting to see you. I had to catch you at a party. <laughs> uh, like literally <laughs> the party's done. I had to grab you. But the one other person that's been avoiding me is Jerry, the, the manager from uh, Jack from State Farm or yeah. Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Why do you think he's avoiding me? I don't know. I don't know. I thought he was going to be at this party. I don't know. Maybe he has a girl now. He's finally tied down. <laughs> not sure. Not sure what it is. You think he has uh, a girl? Hey, young buck. Yeah. <laughs> anything is possible. A- anything is possible. That's well, right. Jerry, if you're out there and you're messing around with that girl, make sure you go back home. <laughs> you need to be right here with your family. With at your this family. Party. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't be messing with no girls. <laughs> Especially, you know, Garvey down the street. Don't don't do that <laughs> stuff. All right. Listen, I want to thank you for coming on my show. Pleasure. Listen, thank you for you having know, me. We have a lot of fans that have been asking about you. He's finally here. The man, the myth, the legend. He's Sorry. about to be six and one. I mean, <laughs> seven and zero. Oh, Hopefully, and, and 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 bringing in the cash for his lovely family. Thousand dollars.